Cleveland Squares are going to start a $1,000 game that has a secret square uh, in it, and we'll find out what's in the secret square stash right now. Jeffrey? A tour of Britain. Trafalgar Tours will provide you and a guest with a thrilling seven-day visit to London and its magnificent countryside history, pageantry, culture, and excitement. This tour has it all. Fly round trip courtesy of Virgin Atlantic Airways. It's worth $3,446. All right, added to our Good Guys DVD recorder from yesterday, our secret square is worth over $5,300, and we'll show all of you at home who it is. Okay, apparently your temperature just went up. Uh, Kevin, you won the last game. You start. All right, Ellen DeGeneres, please. All right, Ellen. An American TV hit was based on a British show, Till Death Do Us Part. Which show? Um, Jackass. <laughs> I'll disagree. Good. Sure. That was good. Yes. <laughs> All in the family. All in the family, actually. X gets the square. Jen? Kathy Griffin. Oh, secret square. Kathy Griffin. We have a very important visual clue here, Jen. You'll enjoy. Uh, uh, which of these stooges was not related to the others? Mo, Larry, or Curly Cat? I think it was Larry Fine. I'll agree. Yeah, Mo and Curly were brothers. That's right. You got the square and the secret square stash. You're going to London. Congratulations, Jim. Kevin. Uh, Queen Latifah, please. Queen, Queen Latifah. Latifah. All right. Queen Latifah. <laughs> According to astrologers, what age are we living in? Well, it can't be that. It can't be the Aquarius, is it? It can't no. be the age of Aquarius because I was a little kid when that record came out. <laughs> we living in the age of Nelly, man. Oh. <laughs> age of flavor unit. Yeah. Age of the queen. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, the queen. I'm gonna say, uh, okay, we're living in the age of Libra. All right. I'll disagree. No, it's still the age of Aquarius and holding. Uh, uh, that's right. So X gets that Guess square. All right, Jim. Chaka Khan for the block. Chaka Khan. <laughs> Do I call you Chaka? Chaka works. Chaka, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. The Food Network reports that movie theaters sell the most popcorn during what types of movies? Ooh. Probably the types of movies that um, Roger Ebert attends. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, comedies. Okay. Disagree. Scary movie. Circle gets a block there. All right, Kevin. I'm going to go for Triumph, the insult comic dog. Triumph, the insult Triumph, comic dog from Late Night with Conan oh, yes. O'Brien. Triumph. Yes. Your dog probably has black lips. Why are they black? <laughs> Tell me this, Tom. Why is your soul black? <laughs> Did someone hurt you? A woman, perhaps? It must be hard, Tom. <laughs> and here you are talking to a freaking dog? Yeah. And uh, Engelbert, hump your leg over there? <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> your dog probably has black lips. Why are they black? Uh, to uh, keep the heat out, to protect you from the heat, of course, I think. I'll disagree. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn to the judge for that. Technically, it's, it's to protect them from sun damage, which is different than, than just heat. heat. So, so he, he disagreed, so he gets a square. The he way gets I it, look at it. X gets it there. He gets it. All right, Jim. Martin Mull for the block. Martin Mull for the diagonal block. All right, Martin. What long-running variety series featured old guys telling jokes, scantily clad women in a cornfield, and a loud animated donkey? Oh, we. Boy, it sure sounds like a, a Barbara Walters special. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In, in this case, it would be Hee Haw. I'll agree. You got it, Hee Haw. You got your block there, Jack. <laughs> All right, we are 
are out of time. Jen, you have three circles up there. That gives you $1,500. You also yeah. won the Secret Square, the trip to Britain, and also the, uh, the big screen TV. You take that all with our thanks for being here on Hollywood Squares. Nice to meet you. Now, Kevin, you've got three X's added to your first game win. $2,500 means you are still our right. champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You know how the new bonus round works, right? Yes. And you'll uh, have an advantage. We're going to take away one of the bad keys right at the start because you're here for your second day. We'll show you how it works coming up right after this. Stick around. Champion, and you got $2,500 uh, already, oh, Kevin, great. today. And I want you to take a look at those keys over there. We have nine of them. And one of them just happens to start what, Jeffrey? Come on, put your top down. It's the new <laughs> Ford Mustang convertible. Stir your passion for driving in freedom worth $25,685. All righty. Okay, now we have found out a bit about what the stars know. Here's where we find out what you know about the stars. Here's how it works. You're going to pick a square. I'll read a statement about the star. If you agree or disagree correctly, then you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we'll take away one bad key. And, of course, that improves your odds of actually winning the car. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock, and the clock starts ticking when you pick your first star. Michael McDonald, please. Michael McDonald, work in college as a model for a department store catalog. Disagree. Correct. Next. Uh, Engelbert Humperdinck. Engelbert spent his wedding night in a treehouse. I disagree. Wrong. Next. Uh, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah won the $100,000 first prize on Star Search. Disagree. Right. Next. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen once was a vacuum cleaner salesperson. Uh, false. Wrong. Next. Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan's sister is named Taka Boom. <laughs> By the way, that's true. <laughs> All right, time's up, Kevin. Let's head down here and count keys. Hock a boom. All right, Kevin, come on. <laughs> now, I got some good news and some good news. Now, you're a returning champion, so that means right off the bat, we take away one of the bad keys. Okay, now, looks like you only got two squares up there, but more good news. Engelbert, you did not spend your honeymoon night in a treehouse, correct? No, I was in. I was in bed. All right, you were in bed. <laughs> we don't need to know all the information, but so our information was incorrect. That means you were right. You get an additional square up there. So we're going to take away three more bad keys. All right, so your odds have improved considerably, Kevin. One of those lit keys will start that Mustang. Good luck. This is the key right, right here. All right, good this luck, my man. This is all it. right. This is the key right here. <laughs> Which key would have started it? Which key would have started the car? This one, right up there. All right, but you know how it works. If you get back here tomorrow, you'll start with only seven keys, all right? So that's the good news. And we add that to your win today. You've got for today a total of $4,000. And all told so far, you've got $9,500. And we'll see you tomorrow, Thank you. Kevin. Thank you. I'm Tom Bergeron on behalf Great. of all our stars. I hope to see you tomorrow on Hollywood Squares. Take care. Thank you, stars. I'm Jeffrey Tambor, the voice of Hollywood Square, saying so long. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Hey, uh, Mr. Dog, do I call you Triumph or the dog or Mr. Dog? You call me whatever you want, bitch. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I call you bitches. Yeah.